Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the McFarlane DC Rebirth Batman, which for me personally, I, I really love this costume design. Uh, ever since it first came out, that's always been one of my uh, favorite of the modern uh, costumes. I just love the way the yellow pops around the bat emblem on his chest uh, and accented with the, uh, the yellow belt just really looks cool. Uh, I just thought that was a cool modern update to the character, at least for the comics. Uh, we'll probably never see a live-action version like this. I just don't know how well that, that would translate to a live-action movie. But uh, for the comics, very cool. I dig it. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's look at the back here. And, of course, on this one, we just have a photo of the uh, figure itself. And you can see the, the cross cell, the other figures in this wave. Um... Yeah, so there's quite a few. So let's uh, let's get him out of the pa uh, package here and uh, see what we can uh, do with this figure because it's very nice looking. I'm digging the sculpt. I'm digging the colors on it. Looks like, at least from my angle that I'm looking, looks like the back of the uh, or the inside part of the cape has got a purplish uh, tint to it, which that's pretty neat. And you see we got a battering and his grapple gun. That one actually seems to be a little more up to par as far as size compared to some of the other ones that are really small. So let's uh, let's open it up. We're going to just cut the tape on the bottom here. Let's see if we can get this flap open. Slide this insert out. Easy peasy. And I'm looking to see what kind of bands we got holding him. It looks like he's got uh, bands around his uh, waist, his hands, and his feet. So let's go ahead and set him back here for a minute. We'll take a look at the uh, insert here. We'll get the card out. I'm digging the cards. It's just a, a cool added feature. See, it's the same artwork that's on the back of the package. And if you want to read that, let's see if I can get it in here close enough. You can pause and take a look at what that has to say. Very cool. We'll slide it in the little sleeve here with my other cards. And as always with these, we get a figure stand with a DC on it. Pulled more of the backing off than I did anything else. There we go. All right, so we got our stand out. We'll set it off to the side. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the figure on that here in just a few minutes. All right, so we see that vinyl cape. As you can see, that's uh, purple on the interior of it. Very cool. Uh, let's see. I don't want to cut the figure. That man broke on its own. Might get away with just pulling most of these out. Let's see. Not that one. Now, normally you'd want to use uh, some other kind of cutter that's a little more controlled, but with these bands, I find it hard to get into a uh, a little area as well. That's why I just end up using a loose blade. I don't recommend that. There we go. Got him out. Set that back there. That's a nice, nice figure. <laughs> Man, I've really been enjoying these uh, McFarlane figures. Uh, proportions look right. Doesn't look like his arms are too long or anything. I will say the right arm is, seems a little loose compared to the left, uh, but it does hold a pose, so it's not it's not too uh, too loose. Head sculpt's nice. Uh, this this is a little bulkier than I would have preferred, uh, but it all do like how it kind of hugs the body a little bit. It's not uh, it's not billowing out way too much. All right, so let's take a look at the articulation. Uh, fairly standard. 
shoulders. You do have a turn in the, uh, what is it, tricep. Double jointed elbows. Of course, you can turn the hands. The ab crunch is better than some of the others. Uh, some of the others that actually have the like uh, metal plating, like say like the uh, the Robert Pattinson or the Christian Bell, uh, those the ab crunch is a little little less because there's just so much molding on there. This is more of the body suit, so you got more freedom of movement. And of course, you can turn him, at, you know, not really at the waist, but well, actually you can at the waist as well. So he's got uh, some some extra movement there. Uh, let's see, at the legs, you don't have a, uh, a spin in the thigh. Or actually, it doesn't look like you really have anything in the uh, ankle as well. You can turn the foot, and he's got the, uh, the toe articulation. Does have double jointed knees. And I do find these uh, knee pads to be cool because they, they look like little Batman faces. Very cool. I just like the simplicity of this design. Uh, it's recognizable as Batman, obviously. Uh, but it's not uh, not too too over, uh, you know, there's not too much plating and all that kind of stuff on it. This is something I think is, is, is a perfect like comic book version of the character. The gauntlets are really cool looking. I dig it. I just wish these figures came with more hands. That's all. Because every one of these Batmans has a, a some form of battering and a grapple gun. Most of which we probably won't even use in the display. But I really dig this. I wasn't sure how I would uh, feel about it. Uh, I've been basically buying up the uh, the movie versions. So this is the first one I've opened up that's uh, based on the actual comic. And this is, a, this is a really cool figure. So we'll set him back here for a minute. See if we can get out the uh, grapple gun and his uh, battering. It's interesting to me how many different variations we can have of these, these two accessories so this one actually has the uh the hook on it which is pretty cool and then this is more of a classic style battering i don't know how well he's gonna hold them may not hold it at all actually yeah so the battering maybe not so much Let's look at the grapple hook here, or grapple gun. Yeah, so that, that fits in his hand okay. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it looks cool. All right, so let's uh, let's lower the camera down. We'll try out the figure stand. And then, uh, as we've been doing with the other ones, we'll go ahead and bring in the other, uh, the other figures as we start to build out this uh, collection of McFarlane figures. So... Be right back. All right, so we got the camera lowered down. Uh, we've got him standing freely on his own, but we're gonna go ahead and try out the figure stand. I will say that when I was trying to get him stand up, uh, the, the pivot on the toe kind of uh, made it a little more difficult to stand up than some of the other figures. That's one of those things, and if you saw some of my reviews on the uh, uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, I mean, the Origins figures mainly, that added articulation on the ankles made it really difficult for those figures to stand. Uh, I always, I kind of wish that they would have kept those more like the originals, but we're in a different toy line here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. We've got our Rebirth Batman. Let's bring in, we got our Dark Knight. You can see how those two compare side by side uh let's see we've got our the batman 
We've got our The Flash version of the Batman, the Ben Affleck. And let's see, we've got our The Flash, Michael Keaton version of the Batman. So that's a pretty cool lineup, seeing all these fellas side by side. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I really like the contrasts. So yeah, so th this is uh, this is where I'm at in my my Batman collection. Still early stages here, but uh, I'm picking them up as I can. Uh, let's see, I've got the three Jokers, Batman, Armored Batman. Uh, let's see, the Batman of Earth 22 Infected. I've got Bizarro. I've got the Dark Knight Trilogy Joker. Uh, I've got some more figures to do videos on. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, and, uh, you know, I know these aren't new figures, uh, but if you're liking the, liking the videos and liking uh, how I'm going about opening these up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're, uh, you're getting notified when my videos are being released. And uh, give the video a like. Leave a comment. And uh, I appreciate your support. You guys have a great day. Thanks.